Ryan Reynolds here for, I guess, my hundredth mint commercial. No, 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 don't, no, don't, no. I mean, honestly, when I started this, I thought I only have to do like four of these. I mean, it's unlimited premium wireless for $15 a month. How are there still people paying two or three times that much? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be victim blaming here. Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch whenever you're ready. $45 upfront payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes. See details. A swift kick in the ass. Episode 157. Life is challenging and difficult. No one gets out alive. Time to suck it up, Buttercup. Get ready for a monster-sized boot. Aim to help you get traction on personal change and get living. I am John Curran, your host. Join me as I share my journey exploring the forces that motivate us to change and help us get through whatever life throws at us. A swift kick in the ass. Life on your terms. Welcome to another episode of A Swift Kick in the Ass. This is your host, John Curran. Today's episode, Leveraging Change to Live a Life on Your Terms. So, life by its very nature is temporary um everything in life changes whether we like it or not that's really the foundation of this show right everything from our possessions to the relationships that we have with different people to how we feel uh, our circumstances our situations Um, everything is in a constant state of flux. Uh, Sometimes it may seem like something just goes on forever and ever and is never going to change. And perhaps, especially when you're in a really sucky situation, it seems like it's never going to end. And in fact, it can get so bad for some people that they consider ending it ending their life. And if you are considering that, please, please seek professional help. Uh, I want you around. I think other people do too as well. So, you know, though the fact that everything is temporary, it can be a bit concerning, right? I mean, it can really... I don't know, make you feel anxious about the future. It can make you feel a whole lot of different negative ways. And I mean, believe me, I, I, I know I've thought about this myself a lot. It's, it has hit me personally. You know, as you know, I lost my co-host, uh, Tom to brain cancer, uh, several years ago now. <clears throat> and, you know, he was, uh, my oldest friend my childhood friend. And, uh, you know, we, we had a lot of, uh, adventures together, you know, from childhood, he was a lifetime friend and, uh, we lost him. And I more, you know, I, I mourned his death because, uh, I felt a tremendous loss from it, uh, from, you know, his passing. But there was nothing I could do about that. And I learned through that experience to really embrace the suck. And it really did drive home the point that I'm here trying to make is that everything in life is temporary. We need to accept that. Uh, We need to accept that all things pass. Uh, you know, both good and bad. We want things to stay good, uh, but that's not always the case. You know, that's the ideal that we shoot for. Um, it's not really realistic to think that all things things are bad. Excuse me. It's not really a reality 
to think that life is going to stay good all the time. Uh, right? That makes sense. So it should also make sense that life is not going to stay bad all the time. You will get through whatever you're going through right now, whether it be good or bad. And sometimes it's not even a sense of it just being good or bad. It's just, it, it is what it is. Um, we face these things. Um, right now I'm facing uh, my air conditioner being out. Do I like it? No. Uh, is there anything I could really do about it? Well, no, I've been doing regular maintenance on it and doing everything I should, but uh, these things happen, right? They uh, Things wear out. Everything is temporary. So I, what I'm beating around the bush to, uh, to do here um, is I want to help you build a lifestyle strategy built on this foundation that life Everything in life is temporary. I want you to be able to leverage that, um, that belief and that thought and that understanding so that um, you can make positive changes in your life. So no matter what you're going through, first realize it's, it's temporary and understand the impact or try to understand the impact. Now, I think a lot, I don't, I try not to dwell on the past because these are things that I can't change anymore. Everything in the past is gone. Um, it's been decided. It's in the past. Can't change it. Um, the future has yet to be decided. So I think a little bit about that, but I don't spend too much time on the future because it's not, nothing's written in stone. And, Things change so quickly that our uh, maybe our trajectory for the future needs to change. Uh, and I think sometimes we get stuck on a certain view of what we think the future is going to be. And it's really outdated, maybe. Uh, you know, like if I was not to, uh, you know, include the fact that Tommy has passed, <laughs> that could really screw things up, right? If I included him in my trajectory, in my path, the things that I planned on. He's not going to be there. Doesn't matter if I want him there or not. Doesn't matter. Can't change it. Um, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I, As callous as it seems, you know, I, life goes on, and I'm, I'm here living. I remain living. Tommy's story has ended, but mine continues. So... The impact uh, that I'm going to have on my life, it's really determined uh, what the decisions I the decisions I make, how I spend my time, uh, you know what I feel impor is important, and the uh, the terms that I currently live with. Now, these terms are just the way things are, um, and some things we can change, some things we can't. Um, I think life is about figuring all that out and uh, recognizing that the things that um, are not worth us spending our time and energy and effort on, we need to learn t to let it pass. I think that's one thing that I have learned through meditation is that we cannot really control our thoughts uh, and our thoughts don't necessarily carry any type of weight or it's not necessarily a premonition or even of any value to us. <clears throat> it could just be our mind is just trying to entertain us. Maybe, uh, you know, we don't have to assign purpose. We don't have to assign any type of weight to our thoughts. We can just say, Hey, <laughs> that's really funny. Bye. Let it go. Pass. Um, I have taught myself how to accept these things. Uh, even the things that I don't I like, sometimes I just s stand it down and say, okay, I don't like what I hear. You know, I don't like what you're showing me, but bring it on because you keep on bothering me about it. So here I am, you know, what do you have to tell me? And what's so funny is uh, like many type of bullies, 
Uh, and I think thoughts can be bullies. Uh, thoughts can kind of bolt, try to bully you into um, a certain way of living, a certain way of thinking. Uh, definitely affects your decisions and your uh, your mindset. Um, but we can stand up to our bullies. And usually just taking that stand is all you need in order to move forward with it. Now, change is, it's both positive and negative, uh, and, and it should become an expected part of your life and just recognize that, you know, I, change is, is necessary. Um, I have to adapt right now and our ability to, uh, adapt and, um, and, uh, adapt to new situations and also kind of our resilience, our, re, our ability to bounce back from, uh, issues and problems, uh, that shows us that we are learning from our mistakes. Now, going back to what I said about understanding the impact, we can dwell on the fact that we make mistakes. What good does that really do us? Uh, it, it makes us feel like crap. Um, we don't like, like it. Um, and actually, you know, I think that's, um, it's not a good feeling, but it's, it's a good thing because if you didn't feel like crap, it would not be important to you. You know, feel the way you feel, um, if it makes you feel like crap, it mean it has some, some meaning to you. And is that really a bad thing? Um, Stop beating yourself up. Um, we all make mistakes. Try to help uh, let that pass. You know, accept it. Um, it hold yourself accountable, of course. Uh, if you make a mistake, own up to it. Do what you can to rectify it and make it better. But accept it. Um, Tommy used to say, embrace the suck. I think there's a lot to be said about that. That's things that you can't really change. Um, it could be positive or negative. It's changed. Nonetheless, you need to adapt uh, and move forward. Um, the best way to move forward is to focus on the right here and right now. Um, when things are temporary, I think it teaches us to kind of savor the moment that we're in, we know that this moment is going to pass. And I think uh, when we have a beautiful moment in our life, I think I appreciate it a lot more now because I recognize that this is just a fleeting moment and I better enjoy it because it's going to be gone in a, you know, shake a lot, shake of a lamb's tail, blink of an eye whatever type of cliche floats your boat. Um, this uh, should also impact our daily decision-making. You know, um, if we're going through a rough time, we have to make a rough decision. We're going to have to pay a dear price for that. Um, recognize that the price that you pay, it, it, it's, you're going to pay in total um, one day. It's going to be paid in full, uh, as agreed upon. Um, or maybe not. Maybe you can renegotiate your terms. That's what this show is all about, right? Thinking about what we can and cannot change, and then making the right decisions in order to move uh, in a direction of your choosing so that you're living on your terms and not somebody else's. Priator, prioritize your experiences. Now, temporary possessions, um, they can bring fleeting joy. No doubt about it. Um, it you are in the possession of a Ferrari because uh, your significant other or someone that really, really loves you paid for you to um, go into a supercar and drive it around the racetrack for a couple of times. To me, that would be so exciting, uh, you know, but, um, and, 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 but that memory is going to last forever. You know, uh, 
the uh, event, the um, the moment's not going to last forever, but the memory will. Going to a concert with uh, your best bud or your your wife, your spouse, your partner, whoever, your friends. Um, it's an experience in my eyes. I, uh, I've gone to so many different concerts and, ha- and just, I remember the music and the experience. Um, I remember my first concert with Tom, with Tommy, uh, when we were in high school, we went to go see the police, the fix and the animals all with, uh, Martha Quinn from MTV opening, uh, being the master of ceremonies. I remember that time with Tommy. I remember getting there in my beat up old car and overheating and thinking we were going to have to piss into the radiator because we were running out of, uh, of water and we're stuck on I-95 down in Miami. Not a good place to be. Uh, but that moment, you know, passed and it was so many, many years ago, I over 50 years ago. Actually, it wasn't 50 years ago. I'm not that old. 40 years ago. Uh, Anyhow, uh, you know, the memory at the time, it was tough, but I cherish that, that memory. Uh, I remember that experience. Uh, I don't even remember what I paid, but I, I I think about that too a lot. When I pay a lot of money for a concert, I think, you know what? I'm going to forget about what the price that I paid. Because I'm going to forget about the money. I'm going to remember the experience. Uh, And so prioritize your experience over possessions. Uh, Possessions are going to come and go. You know, you can have a really, really nice car. I've had many uh, in my life. I plan on having many more. Um, They're going to come and go. They're going to break down or perhaps they'll be taken out of the queue because you got into an accident with it. Um, these things happen. You know, life is temporary. Things are temporary. Uh, build that into your life and embrace the change and make it a part of your life um, that yeah, you love. You know, because uh, a lot, with the change, with, with um, stop thinking about just the negative change and how you don't, what you don't want to change. Think about all the good that comes with 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 change and adapting to new situations and as i think about my black belt training i think about when i first started you know and just in basic stretching i could barely touch my toes you know i don't think i even could touch my toes uh bending over but now you know i, I put my hands on the ground I'm, I'm reaching for my elbows on the ground i mean it's it, my flexibility has increased I've moved to a different level in stretching. I'm doing more dynamic stretches rather than static. And my body is just, um, it loves it. You know, I, I'm treating my body well and, and it's showing, um, I know that this is temporary. My body is getting older. Um, my hips, I feel it when I do my kicks, I, I, I feel it when I work out. Um, it's tough. I, I have to stretch. I have to really work at staying in shape. I have to work at my diet, make sure I'm eating the right things. Again, um, I work this into my daily decision making because sometimes I got to have that donut. I mean, I got to have that, that food that I really shouldn't have, but it just looks so good. You know, and that moment's going to be gone. Um, live, you know, live your life um, and realize that it's full of change. And that's one of the wonderful things about life. Uh, forgive others and forgive yourself. Um, holding on to grudges or dwelling on your past mistakes, it's a burden uh, that you really don't need to unpack it. Uh, Keep it to the side. Maybe, you know, keep it as a reminder, of course, if if you feel like it's worthy of that. But stop kicking yourself. Um, Forgive yourself and others and let go of that negativity and and move on. And you'll have a lighter heart with it. Um, And if you really screwed up, um, you know, some things you can can never... um, 
pay a full penance for, right? You, um, there's, there's some, some things that you're going to have to learn how to live with. And um, it sucks. <laughs> Believe me. Um, my father, uh, back when I was, I think, maybe 21, my father gave me a birthday present. It was a um, an Art Deco watch. It had diamonds, little diamonds in it. Um, I think it was made out of platinum or white gold. It was a Hamilton uh, from like the 1930s, I think. And I love the watch. It looks so cool, man. And especially like during the 90s when we were all wearing, you know, the uh, double-breasted suits and stuff. Man, I was a sharp-dressed man. I love that watch. But it didn't, it wasn't working. And I had it in my car and... Um, I was cleaning out my car, and long story short, I threw away the watch in the dumpster. It's out in Atlanta, a landfill somewhere. Uh, killed me. And my dad would ask me about the watch, um, and I would always like skirt the issue. But before he died, I came clean, and I told him, I said, you know, I said, I've been hiding something from you for 10 or 15 years. <laughs> that I, I lost the watch that you gave me and it killed me. Um, I've been trying to replace that watch um, and I see him come up at auction sometimes, but I don't have the money to do it. Um, so I live with that and it sucks, but you know what? It's a possession and you're, you're going to live and you're going to learn and things are going to come and go out of your life and my dad just like the watch is is gone he's out of my life but his spirit remains and his memory remains and the memory of my sitting down and explaining to him of my failure uh remains but i don't let that keep me down i use it as a strength uh, to fortify my character and to uh, i forgive myself my dad forgave, forgave me and he, he agreed, you know, it's just a, it's just a material thing. He says, don't ever let it, uh, hold you back, hold you down. You know, um, things come and go and that's, that's part of life. So take those risks. Don't let fear paralyze you, but also don't be stupid about it. Take calculated risks and, uh, recognize that, um, you are going to fail. You are going to experience setbacks. These are temporary. Everything is temporary. Don't hesitate at taking chances and pursuing at pursuing. If, you know, if you think it's going to pursue, um, if bah, excuse me, if you think it's going to carry you closer to your goal, what do you have to lose? Got to try it. You got to try to break free. Um, this is how you use it as leverage. Uh, use the change in your favor. Figure out how to do that. Uh, and as a public rela uh, public relations officer, um, I had to, you know, always put a positive spin on things. And I think that's how I leverage my change. I tried to find a po the positive that comes out of that, the silver lining. And out of all things, good or, you know, all bad, bah, all things, good or bad, there is usually a silver lining involved. You may not see it at the time, but something good usually comes out of something bad. Um. You know, recognize uh, that while everything changes, some things have a longer shelf life than others. Uh, you know, some things have a shorter, long, long, a shorter shelf life. Uh, invest in building and strong relationships with uh, people that really care about you and have your best interest. Recognize that these are two way. Uh, partnerships, two-way relationships. You know, you can't be one way. Uh, nurture your health, your mind, your spirit. Uh, pursue your passions. 
that Brent, that's going to help you bring a long lasting fulfillment. Um, and that is going to help you continue to leverage change and help you find balance in your life. Uh, so that you're not just, you know, dwelling in the past or having no disregard for the future. You're actually uh, being responsible and planning and setting goals for the future and capitalizing on the change that is present that comes your way that you have no control over taking advantage of um whatever comes your way, making the best of it. I really do think that this strategy and applying these uh, approaches to your life are going to help you become highly successful. I don't mean it's going to make you lots of money. I mean that it's going to make you happier and healthier with your life and your current situation. It, you will be able to adapt uh, easier and better and help you learn from your mistakes and your problems. So, so I'm going to share with you that, um, you know, you all know that, uh, my wife and I were up to our ears in debt. We paid off, uh, over a hundred thousand dollars in about three years. And, um, we did this all by while raising our family and such, but, you know, after we got through that, you know, again, life changes. Um, we've had other challenges before. Um, credit card bills went up. I had to address all that, pay them down, you know, and then it seems like one thing after another, it, you can't cut a break sometimes. I'm now having to face uh, replacing my upstairs air conditioning when last year I had to replace my downstairs air conditioning. This is expensive. I'm not necessarily, you know, focused on replacing things like this in my house. I'm focused on providing for my family, getting them through, getting my kids through school, you know, getting my kids from point A to point B on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so this is not something I have adapted to very well, but I have to. And what I've learned is that um, what I experienced last year with the air conditioner is I made it through. Um, I was able to sell some things and not go into debt over it. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to learn how I'm going to get through this. Uh, and I'm going to adapt. And I learned that I'm, I'm actually a lot stronger uh, in a much better position than I thought I was before. I mean, and than I was before. And um, I'm going to keep moving, keep moving getting things better because I'm not satisfied with the way things are right now. I give myself these swift kicks and kicks in the ass because this is the life I live. And I join, I ask you to, uh, to join me on that journey, uh, on your own terms. Now, if you go and visit my website, you're going to see some products there. I have a little shop there and there are some eBooks available uh, to help you find a more purpose-driven life, uh, to help you create positive change in your life. I've got a couple of different things out there. I think you'll find them interesting. They're not very expensive. And because you're listening to the show, I'm going to put a little coupon code out there that I only include uh, on my shows. The code is ASKITA20. That's going to give you 20% off of anything that you want in the store. And they, it ranges in values. I mean, it ranges in prices from like 7 bucks to like, I don't know, 30 bucks or something like that. It's not very expensive. But I think it, just like a concert, uh, it's going to be an, create an experience for you. And you're going to learn a lot about yourself and get a lot more out of it than you, you paid for it. Um, this is not about making money. This is about changing your life and creating positive change in your life. I want you to gain freedom, uh, to choose the experiences that enrich your life and the resilience to navigate 
in the inevitable changes that we face. You know, there's no guarantee to happiness, uh, but adapting to change uh, equips you with a very powerful tool that are going to enable you to make better choices that align with your values and create a life that is more fulfilling and more on your terms than somebody else's. So again, coupon code ASKEDA20. That's short for a swift kick in the ass. Yeah, I have a website out there. Um, I'm making changes to it all the time. Uh, if you're not able to get through or not able to, you know, use the code or purchase anything, please let me know. John at a swift kick in the ass dot com. That's how you can reach me. Um, I think that's it for right now. Uh, I also have, I guess I have a gallery out there too. You might like, uh, I create these AI, uh, AI images, um, based on the show topics. And I think they're pretty freaking cool. Uh, I hope you enjoy them until the next time, my friends, this is John from a swift kick in the ass. Peace. This marks the end of another episode of A Swift Kick in the Ass, placing it directly in the can. As much as I like to talk, even I have my limits, it's time to go. Catch me on the next show. For better or worse, whether you like us or not, please leave comments wherever you get your podcasts. Follow us on Twitter. Visit our home on the interweb. I think you can leave me a voicemail there. You can also email me at john at a swift kick in the ass dot com. It's been my extreme pleasure. I hope you got a lot out of it. I hope you got your ass moving. Until then, until the next time, I'm out of here. Peace. Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. With the price of just about everything going up during inflation, we thought we'd bring our prices down. So to help us, we brought in a reverse auctioneer, which is apparently a thing. Mint Mobile Unlimited Premium Wireless. Ready to get 30, 30, ready to get 30, ready to get 20, 20, 20, ready to get 20, 20, ready to get 15, 15, 15, 15, just 15 bucks a month. So give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 upfront payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes in detail. Purr at me and I feel complete Then you come at me like the Wolverine And even though you often turn your back on me Our love goes deeper than a submarine No, I don't want clay dust inside of you Or chemicals in the place you poo In my arms or in your box Our love will be pure World's best cat litter for the world's best cat